Imagine if all you had to do was just snap your fingers to make things happen. But what is going on guys, Dex and Samarni, I hope you guys are having a great day. And right now, it's 2.17 in the afternoon and I have not eaten anything except for a Greek yogurt today. So I'm going to go downstairs to my kitchen and show you guys what I like to eat. It's really popular, it's really easy to make, it's cheap, and it's also really good for you. So let's go downstairs to the kitchen. This is all you need guys, a peanut butter sandwich on whole grain, an apple, and then a jug of water. Literally costs you less than $5 for this entire thing and it's going to fill you up and make you feel great once you're done eating it. So once you finish eating your peanut butter sandwich, it's an unwritten code that if you guys have dogs, like how I do, I have Buster and I have Tammy, that when you're finished you must save a piece of the peanut butter sandwich for the dogs because dogs love peanut butter. So we're going to give Buster the big one and we're going to give Tammy the little one. It's 5.09 in the afternoon, we're about to go head to the gym with Dan and work on some legs. Guys, we got to the gym, I'm with Dan. What's up, guys? He wants to do back instead of legs, so instead of doing legs, he's going to do a back workout. And that's that's the reason why I turned on this vlog right now, is just to say that to you guys. <laughs> I didn't want to say we're doing legs and then cut right into back, so we're going to get right just, into back. Just cut it out. I could have just cut it out, but I didn't feel like it. I'm going to keep the other part in, I'm going to put how, this in as like, well. That's how real I am. That's how real I am to you guys, that's how real, no, I'm not being real right now. We're going to do some back ass, alright? in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe. Alright, hey guys, we're uh, leaving the gym now, uh, I got my buddy Doug here. Alright, listen, I got my hands for it, now I asked Dan to record us going out of the gym, I was like, yo guys, I just want to record us going out of the gym, tell them we're going to have I have Dan recording, he thinks he can just make fun of me. Like this isn't a <laughs> this isn't a freaking game, dude. Alright guys, it's 1012 right now. I just got out of the shower and the movie is for 1020. It's probably gonna start at 1035 because there's a 15 minute commercial break, but I'm about to go pick up Dan. We're gonna go ahead to the movies and hopefully we can make it on time. Alright guys, so we showed up to the movie theater, it's 1033. I'm just with Dan. We're supposed to go without two other friends, but flaked. What happened with Sean? I didn't even have Sean. He ain't about that life. Alright, well Sean's not here and Dennis never texted me, so it's just Dan and I. We got to the movie theater and they told us that the movie was already 15 minutes in, so we're gonna go to another movie theater that's gonna play at 11 o'clock. And Dude, I'm hungry, so I want to get some food before I'm we go. I'm down, I'm down. You want to get some? 
I was gonna say Burger King. I'm just oh, gonna say it. Bro, don't Dude, do it to me. I love Burger King. I gotta say it. Like you guys no, look at me and you say, Doug, like it. you always eat healthy in this, like, but what's your macros, Doug? No, you dude. Your macros? Listen, I eat junk food a lot, but I also work hard in the gym at the same time. So I'm gonna get some like chicken fingers or something from Burger King. No, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can. Well Dan, I'm gonna get some chicken fingers regardless. <laughs> and if you want some, you nah, can have some. You're not doing that, Doug. You ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm getting chicken we're getting, fingers. We're getting dude. Panera. Listen, I was about to like cut this out and not say anything, but I want to eat some chicken fingers from Burger King. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go head to the other movie theater and catch South Park, guys. All right, so we didn't get any chicken fingers. It's 11 o'clock right now. We're gonna go straight into the movie theater. I'm gonna get a lot of popcorn because I'm freaking starving. We haven't, I haven't eaten anything since we got back from the gym. I just had my shake. Solid strategy, Doug. Right, guys, we just saw South Park. I thought it was 7.5. Dan, you gave it. I give it an eight. He gave it, it an eight. Movie. It was it a pretty good me. movie. It was yeah. emotional. Yeah, it was emotional. It moved me. It, it, I know I've never been a boxer. I've never boxed in my entire to life. To me, it wasn't but... even about boxing. It made me realize like. You have your problems, but there could be so much worse things happening to you, you know? You see a man go from having everything in the world, having the best family, the best life, all the money he could possibly want, you see him lose it all. And I'm not gonna spoil the movie, but it was it was moving, it was okay. It was good. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't a waste of time. It made me realize like don't take anything for granted, because like that, like it could all be gone, you know? Yeah. And you'll just be at the bottom again. I, I just think like it motivated me to, to go like even harder in everything I do, man. It made me feel that it, I agree with everything you said. It also made me feel that if there's ever like an opportunity where it's like you have to seize the moment or else you just crumble, I guess I could say it like that, right? Yeah. That I want to be taking advantage of the opportunity. I don't want to be the one who falls down. I want to be the one who rises up to the top. I'm trying not to spoil the movie though. <laughs> but. The reason, the reason why I wanted to, obviously I'm gonna vlog like after the movie and like give us our thoughts about it, but the funniest thing happened after we sat down in the theater. I have to say it, Dan. It's nothing, it's nothing bad. So I found out that Dan is really fluent in Spanish. Like he can understand it completely. Can you speak it fluently too? Yeah. So he's pretty fluent in speaking it and he can understand it like 100%. And um, my girlfriend and I talked through an app called WhatsApp and she was texting me something and I was like, hey Dan, can you tell me, oh the lighting's really weird right here. I was like, hey Dan, uh, she just texted me something. You know, instead of using Google Translate, can you just tell me what it is? <laughs> and then he reads out what it said. What did he even say? Oh yeah, it was like, you are the best boyfriend in the world. So I was like, Dan, what does it say? And I, I showed him my phone and the movie theater was dead quiet. I was like, Dan, can you tell me what it says? He reads it and he looks at me, he goes, <laughs> he says, just the way I said it just made it sound like so awkward. He said, I like leaned over, I was like, you are the best boyfriend in the world. <laughs> he went into my ear and he goes, Doug, you are the best boyfriend in the world. And I didn't think anything of it. But then five seconds goes by, he looks I'm at like, me again. Pause. <laughs> he looks at me again, he's like, Doug, what did you say? I was like, bro, if anybody heard that, that sounded really gay. <laughs> That had me dying. That had me. That, I, that, I just felt like I had to just share that. I'm probably even gonna title this video "Best Boyfriend Ever?" Question mark Explanation point. Oh Pull some paparazzi TMZ move there. But we're about to go head back to the car. So it's 2:16 in the morning. I'm finishing up this vlog, and then I found out that I hit 500,000 subscribers while I was at the movies. And I want to show you guys really quick the uh, the obviously the subscriber count 501. 882 the views whatever and this is this is really interesting and I I want to show you guys this not to brag but the fact that my subscribers just completely skyrocketed like I was at 450,000 not even a week ago and then I gained 50,000 in a few days it's it's incredible and I think that I should say this because I am grateful I am appreciative and I don't want this to be taken the wrong way but I think that's incredible that my videos and the words that I preach to you guys the way that I go through my business and my life is is something that's rubbing off on you guys and it's something I've always wanted it's something I've always wanted to do I've always wanted to have influence I always wanted to show people you know the way the right way of doing things and I have I've, I've been raised really well by my mom I have some really great people in my life some really great friends and some really great guys that help me and guide me through this this journey because like I said like I, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for FaZe and the people on FaZe who helped me, that helped me make my videos, helped me title my videos, helped me how to say the right things on social media because I was the worst person at it when I first started this. Before before I joined FaZe, before I had a YouTube channel that I really committed to, I didn't know how to conduct myself online, if that makes any sense. So to see that support and to see you guys you know, really rallying for me, it just it means so much. It means so much. And I don't know how else to show it, but I will be doing a really special 
uh, thing for 500,000 subscribers. I have a lot of really great videos coming up on my channel, really exciting things planned in the next month of my life that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Doing these daily vlogs, talking to you guys every day, helps me a lot. It helps me learn about myself when I watch these back. It helps me learn how to speak on a camera, how to inflect my voice. And I've, I've talked about this in a couple of vlogs ago, but I just want to say, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for everything. And I know that it won't last forever. I know that it can go down and I can lose everything. But the fact that I was able to make it this far and have people help me along the way really means the world to me. And for that, guys, I thank you. And that's where I'm going to end the vlog for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up on the video, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, this is your boy, Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out. Peace.